people ask me a lot of questions and they always come from divisions of mind. It's not very often where I'm asked a question that isn't regarding a concept. And I always point past concepts. Concepts are just the division of mind or the division of consciousness. All divisions of consciousness are arbitrary and further they're untrue. It's through concepts and it's through imposing your concepts on lived reality that divides your experience of it truly this is all whole From an ecosystem perspective, you know this. That which dies feeds the next life, plants, animals, and it's a continuous cycle of energy. Why then divide the energies? I've been asked, for example, What's the difference between spiritual energy and sexual energy? And the simple same answer applies. There is no division. There's no difference between sexual energy and spiritual energy. Just as there's no difference between the life that is a tree and the life that is me, except by concept. Sure, you can go into all sorts of species identification. You can go into all sorts of science, and there's nothing wrong with science. There's nothing wrong with categorizing and cataloging. So long as you always remember that it's all just one thing. It's all just consciousness. It's all just aliveness. Energy is singular, and you know this. But also know that consciousness is singular. Energy is indivisible, pure energy. The aliveness that is that singing bird and the aliveness that is that which is singing to you now through these words is the same aliveness. It's just a conceptual framework that has led to you believing that there's a division there. Enlightenment is living in this space of indivisible gnosis. Everything that occurs, occurs within consciousness. And it's not my consciousness. No one owns this consciousness. The consciousness of these gnat catchers. And the consciousness of these plants is one thing. The intelligence of life shows differently when the prism of Pure energy shines through these different body forms, which are just frozen forms of light or frozen forms of consciousness. But it's all one thing. From the space I sit, it's all clearly one thing. This isn't a concept for me. This is how life is. And I don't even separate life from what people would consider not life. I consider the rock just as much and just as valid in arising within consciousness as myself. 
sure they express differently. But it's all just one thing. When you live life like this, you live like Christ lived. You live like Buddha lived. We call it Buddha nature or Christ consciousness. But these things never belonged to them and they never implied that they did. They always showed us or told us that this is our true nature, all of our true nature, our fundamental being. No one owns this. This consciousness is shared by all. There's no divisions amongst it except in appearance. Except in experience. But all experiences all experiences arise in what? Arise within what? Knowing or gnosis or pure awareness, pure consciousness, whatever term you prefer. But everything arises within just that. So stop dividing lived reality with concepts. It's a cheap way to live. It's a false way to live. False in the sense that it bars you from experiencing the mystery and majesty of simply this. When life is lived unfiltered, unconceptualized, you recognize the magic in it and you flow as part of that magic you become spontaneous you become less rigid less structured more flowing Please share this guidance with anybody that you believe is ready. There is a great awakening going on on earth right now. People are ready for this. Even people that have never heard the concepts of non-duality or pure consciousness or even enlightenment or awakening or liberation. They're ready. Or at least you intuitively can decipher who's ready. Please share this message. Either forward the video or just tell them as purely as you can distill it. Rather, as purely as it can be distilled through your current framework. Like I said, no one owns this. This message isn't mine. This message doesn't even come from me. This message comes through me. Not in a way that's channeled. Just in a way that's true and unfiltered. This is the expression of life when unfiltered. People are ready. You're ready. So continue to follow this guidance. Continue to follow steps that lead you to the door of pure consciousness and step through. 
You must leave your identity at the door. You must leave your concepts at the door. But it's worth the exchange. The exchange rate in enlightenment or liberation is well worth it. You trade in illusion and get back unfiltered raw reality. What could be better than truth? What could be more worthy than truth to know itself? Everyone deserves this. You are pure and you are whole, regardless of what your concepts tell you. Follow this guidance regularly into the heart of yourself and you will be free. All my love.